course, TGI Fridays was one of the first businesses to gamble on this new thing called the Tennessee Aquarium more than 20 years ago. Before then, the area was a jumble of abandoned warehouses and closed businesses. There were few hotels, stores, or restaurants anywhere downtown, but the aquarium changed everything. We've got the proof in our archives. Take a look at the view in this live shot we're going to show you from 1991. Today, that same view would be blocked by hotels. Lisa, are there enough motel rooms in the area to handle the expected crowds? Well, Dan, it's really too early to tell for sure right now, but developers do want to see a hotel go in right next to the aquarium. If you can see there to my right, it would really change the skyline of Chattanooga quite a bit. It would be between Market Street and Broad Street, and that is expected to happen, but so far the financing hasn't come through yet. Investors are taking a wait-and-see attitude, which is typical of the hotel industry. They're not known to be pioneers. But, however, the hotels and restaurants that are already here in the area are already changing the way they're doing business. Thank you for calling the Radisson Reed House. Where am I to direct your call, please? Chattanooga's hotel business is looking good. And with the aquarium opening next year, people in the know say it can only get better. Thousands of out-of-towners touring the aquarium will need a place to sleep. And local hotels are making sure they're ready. While the aquarium won't have a restaurant, the management at the nearby Southern Bell says they'll start using this barge to feed hungry aquarium visitors. Landlocked downtown eateries are also looking to benefit. Andy Mullins is expanding his small cafe by 6,000 feet to get ready for the extra business. They're going to bring the children down here. They're going to bring their in-laws when they come in and travel. And when they do that, I think they're going to make a half a day or a day excursion of it. And they're going to come they're going to spend money back in downtown Chattanooga. Location is something Marguerite Moses won't have to worry about. She's building a new restaurant on this lot. 212 Market Street is going up right across the street from the Tennessee Aquarium. We should be able to um, pick up a lot of the uh, traffic that would be going in and out. We are building, you know, a terrace up on top, which would be kind of a fun thing for people to go up there at lunchtime and look out across and see the aquarium. Now, we'd like to point out that the Spaghetti Warehouse restaurant is also opening near the aquarium. It will be in the old bus barns. And tomorrow, we're going to talk with a lot of the other local tourist attractions and see how they feel about the opening of the aquarium. Dan?